Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 7th, 2024. Well, my goodness, we had quite the volatility on Friday, pushing us up dramatically after that jobs report. This morning, however, the market seems to be feeling just a little bit on the bearish side after Europe also saw a heating up of their housing prices and reversed a little bit. And then we see our 10 year bonds going back above 4%, creating some pressure here. So how about we take a look at what happened overnight? First off, we had Asian markets, mostly higher last night. Remember Shanghai still closed, it reopens tomorrow. But the Nikkei was up um, substantially up 1.80%, moving strongly. Australia was up. Um, India was a little bit lower here overnight. If we take a look at European markets, now European markets um, have bounced around here. They went positive to begin the day, um, went negative. And now we've got a mix. The DAX right now is down 0.26%, while the FTSE is holding up 0.36%, and the CAC is up 0.12%. U.S. futures this morning, however, all on the bearish side with the Dow futures down 0.42%, 0.48% in the SPY, and the NASDAQ being down 0.64%. Looking at other things in the market, well, the one of the real problems that we've got going on is those bonds. The two-year bond right now is at 4.01%. The 10-year bond is also at 4.01%. And the 30-year bond is at 4.27% as we continue to see those bonds rally in uh, well, in concern about the um, maybe reignition of some inflation, we'll have to wait and see. And those bonds rising. Of course, we have that uncertainty of the election. We have the uncertainty of the Middle East. We have the uncertainty of the pending um, earnings that will begin, earnings season beginning on Friday probably creating some of that um, angst in the market. If we take a look at um, precious metals here this morning, precious metals, a little bit of mix in there as well. Right now we have gold futures up $8 an ounce, trying to push back up here just a little bit in that consolidating pattern that we've seen here for a while. Silver, on the other hand, just slightly lower had a good surge on Friday and then ended up pulling back into that consolidation. Copper, platinum are also lower. Palladium is just a little bit higher trying to follow through on this bounce. If we take a look at oil this morning, oil, as you can see, moving to the upside. We've got a big surge uh, this morning in oil futures. We are now up $1.94 a barrel or 2.61% to 76.30 a barrel. And Brent is up $1.75 at 79.80 a barrel, flirting with $80 again on oil. So really surging here in oil. If we take a look at oil holders, big strong push here in oil holders, pushing up a little rest or pullback might set up an opportunity, but be careful chasing these prices and then if we look at natural gas ung a little bit lower here today this has needed a little bit of a rest or consolidation we're getting that started on friday um, it will be important if it holds in this um, area of support and trend so watch that carefully on ung if we take a look at crypto markets this morning well crypto markets are trying to be a little bit bullish here today. Um, right now we've got Bitcoin up $84 a coin 
and um, we've got ether up a dollar a coin with some mix crypto markets this morning so a little bit of uncertainty coming off in those as well and if we look at our US dollar our US dollar is maintaining strength as those bond yields going up and um, that's a very interesting thing going on in the market right now that we're gonna have to pay attention to so what does all that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remembering that we want to look at these charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. Try to shake off that bias in these charts as we look through them. Well, first off, one of the things that is certainly still prevalent and the thing that I talked about it's been now over two weeks ago when I put out that first video saying, be careful, y'all, we could go into a bit of a consolidation. And my goodness, I had no idea it would be this long and this volatile in this consolidation. But we are still locked in that range. Although um, we did uh, make a record high close on Friday, uh, the trick is to get a follow through um, on that and right now we are not showing that follow through here in the diamonds continuing to work this range so if the bulls can find inspiration we can certainly see where those sellers show up and we'll need to push through that area up here to run up and maybe attack that all-time high print and then we've got blue sky above if those bulls are going to be inspired if the bears, however, continue with the inspiration that they're showing this morning, well, I would suggest a pushback down maybe to test the support would be the area that we'd be looking. And then if we were to break that support coming on down to this area, and I don't think that would cause any major problems if it did, it would be if we break below there where I think we would really raise some fear. One thing you'll want to notice, these two trends that I have in here, we're sliding past those trends here at the moment. So there is that uncertainty and, 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 and unfortunately that uncertainty is going to continue probably right up into Friday when we get the beginning of earnings and the big bank reports. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now SPY doing the same consolidating move little bit more volatility in it in range but same in that consolidating move here in the market if the bulls can find inspiration of course breaking through here would be pretty critical and of course that would get uh, some all-time highs in the spy if they could make that happen if the bears continue this morning to find um, that ability to push, I would say a push back down to test the lower side of that range wouldn't be out of the question. Remember, we've got the trends in here to be paying attention to. And if we push down in there, probably no worries or no concerns. Pushing beyond that point, however, might start to raise a little concern if we test this area of price support right here. And if that were to fail, coming on down here would likely raise um, quite a bit of concern, I think, if we start to fail in that area of the market. Now, if we take a look at our QQQ, our NASDAQ still locked in this range. And it again has had even more volatility in it, really surging around here quite a bit. And we'll want to be watching that pretty closely because if the bulls find inspiration, the first thing they need to do, it, we've got through this little area right here, is to press on up, see if we can test that resistance there in the chart. If we can break through that, then we're going to push on up and we'll probably start looking at these levels up in here to see if we can break through to all time highs. But if those bears, if those bears um, continue to push today, I would suggest a pushback, maybe to test a little support right down in here first, 
beyond that point, we would come down probably to the lower side of that range that we've been trading in. And then of course you can see we've got this upside trend in here. We could still hold that upside trend and push even a little bit lower into this support area of the chart. So watch carefully there. It would be a break of this area that would likely raise some concern and raise a little fear in the market. So keep an eye on that. And our IWM, well, our IWM range has been more of a slide. As you can see, that range stuck right in here. We've just been sliding and sliding and sliding. Um, we did break the support once, but popped right back up into there. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today to the upside, well, I'm going to suggest right up in here would be the test area. See if we can push up in there. And if we can push through that area, then I'm going to suggest we're up here testing the top side of that range up in here someplace to see if we can pop on through and then of course up in there would be very very bullish for that move if we take a look at the bearish side of things if those bears were to really get going breaking the support is something we'd want to watch and then that possibility that we could push on down and retest this low in the chart and then progress on through if you'll notice right through here We've had this little tiny bit of support area, and then there's a potential gap that could be filled. Pushing back down into there would bring us back to this kind of a flat upside trend in here, and we might catch some support in there. Failing below there, of course, would raise some concern. So we'll want to be keeping a pretty close eye on price action this week. If we take a look at our VIX, oh, our VIX eased up just a little bit on Friday we backed off here just a little bit from that rally up in the market unfortunately not enough to break back down below those little areas of price support in the chart you'll want to notice that we've broken through this downtrend in here and the the selling that we have this morning could pick this back up what we don't want to see in here is on a selling wave this is if you're a bull um, what you don't want to see is you don't want to see this consolidating area in here actually end up turning to the upside and becoming a higher low in the VIX. That's where that fear could come in and we might run up here and start testing these areas up here in the low 20s. Beyond that point, well, you all know it gets pretty wild if the market goes beyond that point. Now, if the bulls can find, uh, continue to find that inspiration, maybe a continued resting consolidation in here, or maybe even a push back down to break this trend, and we can start coming back and testing these levels here in the chart, if those bulls can find inspiration here today to push to the upside. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 indicator, well, doggone it, we pushed up here quite a ways on Friday, relieving some of that sold pressure, selling pressure. So if the bulls can find inspiration, well, we'll likely see a push up in here to see if we can come back up here into this bearish reversal zone. However, the selling that we have this morning is likely going to turn this lower. Maybe we'll be following along this downtrend here, turn this lower, and that means we have a pretty good opportunity for a downside move if those bears were to really get active. So far, they haven't been able to find the momentum in the market, but something to watch. Now, if we look at our T2108 percentage of stocks above the 40 day, had a nice little rally back up there on Friday, but unfortunately just really wasn't enough to come back up and break back through that resistance in the chart. So the selling this morning could turn this lower in here and it'd be just a little bit of a concern. But if those bulls can come back around sometime during the day, pushing back up through here, then there may be that opportunity we're back up here testing these resistance levels. If the bears were to continue that push, well, as you can see, there is some support areas back in here. Maybe we can catch on some of these support areas in here and hold in that T2108, where fear will likely start to creep up is if we take this 50% area and go below that. 
um, once we start having as more stocks moving below their 40 day than going above, well, sentiment kind of shifts a little bit. We'll want to watch that closely if that were to occur. Our uh, T2107 actually did a pretty good job on Friday pushing back up here. Unfortunately, we still have this downtrend in here that we're dealing with but we held good on some support here in the chart looking good so if those bulls find inspiration maybe we can push on back up test some of these resistance levels and break that down here in the chart if the bears however find inspiration then pushing back down and breaking below here might raise a little bit of worry but probably not too much unless we were to break on down below 50 percent so we've got a long ways to go before that occurs. Our major problem continues to be this, the T2101. We have a very low breadth in the market. Remember, we're in full blackout for um, corporate buyback activity, which is such a big part of the volume of the market nowadays. And you can see just kind of resting in here. And what's interesting is that rally on Friday, we didn't see any breadth following through um, to support that move. So watch that, watch that carefully. If this continues to decline, um, and every reason to believe it really could up until um, Friday when we get our uh, big bank reports. So yeah, watch that carefully. What you don't wanna see, you don't wanna see this turn up on a sell wave in the market, it would mean that the bears are becoming emboldened and um, the momentum shifting to the bears. So watch that closely here today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got very little for us to worry about here um, overall on the day. Notice in here, we've got several Fed speakers couple little bill auctions coming in here on Monday. So not much to find inspiration on here today. Keeping in mind on Tuesday, we're going to get international trade numbers coming out and we've got more Fed speak and more bond auctions. And then of course, looking into Wednesday, normal uh, mortgage applications, um, wholesale inventories will be in there. We've got some um, petroleum status numbers, which are normal. And then of course, we've got an FOMC minute coming up here on Wednesday afternoon. That always tends to create a little volatility with more Fed speakers, um, who to guess. And then a 10 year note auction in there. Um, so look for us to get through this part of the week with struggling a little bit with inspiration. Now, as we go into Thursday, this is where things could get a little bit weird and wild. We've got a CPI number and jobless claims coming in here. Of course, CPI going to be one of those market moving numbers that we'll want to be paying attention to. And it's also going to have that serious impact as to how the Fed will act in this next coming um, FOMC meeting in uh, November. So watch that closely. And we've got some more Fed speakers in here um, and a 30 year bond auction. On Friday, we'll get the PPI reading, a whole bunch of Fed talk and um, consumer sentiment and a Baker Hughes rig count. So watch those on Friday. So today, not much going on in there. And if we look at the earnings calendar, it's the same. We've got one notable report this morning. Um, NAPA um, will be reporting here this afternoon. It's interesting, this thing is getting such a big surge. Um, let's go, there we go, there's a daily chart. I don't know why it's getting such a big surge this morning, must be some news on this, but they actually don't report. Um, not supposed to report until Friday unless there was a mistake here. So keep an eye on that really surging here in the pre-market on NAPA. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and 
click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Now, I will tell you that there is a chance I may not get to answer these until later on in the day, um, those comments today, and simply because I have to leave this morning for a doggone dentist appointment that I'm certainly not looking forward to, but um, um, I will try to get to those later today. And also, thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to share these links out on your social media feed for the video. And then also, a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these uh, charts setting up for today. And remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence, be very, very careful in this market. And remember that there is reason that our momentum here is weak. You, you've probably experienced this in the last couple of weeks. You buy a really great entry signal and then not much happens. Um, you buy a good sell signal and then not much happens. So be kind of careful here um, as we wander around waiting for these big data points uh, coming Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then of course the kickoff of earnings. First off though, let's take a look at um, AMD. AMD, this is a really nice looking pattern now. AMD's recovered a bunch, pushing on up, trying to break through this resistance. Now, whether or not you want to buy it right here at that resistance, or if you'd want to wait just a little bit um, on that, buying it right in here would have been beautiful. But if it pops up through there and is able to hold along this trend, there may be the next opportunity there in AMD. Keep an eye on that. Um, we saw an AVGO making a nice move as well, bouncing up, making that higher low. Unfortunately, still dealing with quite a little bit of resistance here as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if this rests or consolidates more in this area. But if it does pop out and then proves to hold, well, then maybe we're going to work on through for new record highs in Broadcom. So keep an eye on that. NVIDIA also trying to make that move here. We're in this symmetrical triangle and we continue to struggle in here to see whether or not we're going to break the top side of this. And we keep trying, keep trying. Watch that carefully. If we can push on through and break some of this resistance here in the chart, then we can start stretching up to these next levels and maybe coming on back up toward these all-time highs in NVIDIA. If, however, though, those bears were to, to engage on this, a break of this downside, remember, in a symmetrical triangle, it's about a 50-50 chance it will break through the top or the bottom side. So remember, we can continue to wind in here until we finally make that decision um, in NVIDIA. And we may have to wait um, until we kind of kick off those earnings here in the market. So watch that closely. Um, take a look at Amazon. Um, Amazon looks to me like a possible short here today. Um, it is going to be kicking off. Remember, their Prime Day sales are coming up tomorrow. But as you can see, popped up in here in the pre-market, showing, showing a little bit of pressure. So there's that trend that we broke right in here. We rallied back up into resistance and now showing a bit of a failure pattern. Amazon could move on lower here and make a new low, um, really confirming this little downtrend set up here in the market. So I'd watch that closely. It's another thing that I would say about the entire Russell. We continued to push up on Friday, but now showing that potential failure in here. So we've made lower high, lower low. Is this the next lower high along that resistance to push on through? Maybe watch that closely there on IWM. Let's take a look at a, um, things in a couple different areas. First off, when we look at the dollar showing this much, much strength, we wouldn't normally see be, uh, be seeing strength in oil, gas, gold, any of those kind of things. But it is interesting as the dollar continues to run up, there is so much uncertainty in the market that clearly gold 
is looking like a very bullish pattern. This resting consolidation in here, I would watch that carefully. A break of this area up here, all time highs in gold are certainly possible with the fear um, that is running around the market, all that uncertainty. So watch that closely in here. If gold were to get moving silver, not nearly as nice of a pattern. You can see that silver tried to break out of this major resistance here in the chart faded it back here we'll want to watch that carefully we still have that potential we could hold this um, upside trend in here but it's also possible that we could flatten this out coming all the way back into this trend or consolidating into that trend trying to build enough energy to actually pop through that area in the chart on silver but boy when we take a look at energy energy surging with what's going on in the middle east concerns there even though that dollar is strengthening we are seeing quite a run up here in oil now that being said as we push back up here into this resistance area of the chart you cannot rule out the possibility that this resistance will do its job and we'll see that relief or pullback here could come back into some support, could consolidate out here. If it pushes on through, however, pushes on through, then we'd look for that rest to hold that support area for the next upside move. So keep an eye on some of those stocks. And there are quite a few to be uh, paying attention to. Let's take a look at um, APLD. APLD is something I put an alert on, but boy, it, it really fell apart there on Friday, trying to hang in there. I was watching this really big support area after breaking through, fading back. I still think it's something to watch, keep an eye on that. Mickey D's is another one to really be keeping an eye on. Beautiful little upside trend, just kind of consolidating, resting. Again, we're just lacking momentum in the market. But if those bulls were to find some kind of inspiration here, then we might push that right on through to the upside. And you can see we're looking at all time highs in Mickey D's if that were the case. Take a look at DoorDash, another very nice resting consolidation coming back into trend. The sellers don't want to sell, the buyers just don't have a whole lot of momentum, but if they can pop through there, you can notice holding that support, we could start stretching on up here and seeing some of these levels that have not been seen in a long time on DoorDash. So watch that carefully here. Um, Cleveland Cliffs coming up out of the bottom. Again, not something you would normally see show bullishness when we have a strong dollar, but we're certainly seeing that here in Cleveland Cliffs. It's resting in this consolidation. We're up here above our 50 day moving average. We're getting going to soon have a bit of a moving average squeeze if those bulls can continue to hold in here. And I would be looking for that next move, at least up here, test that resistance, and then we'll see how far we can move after that point. So watch that closely here on Cleveland. Um, things, um, other places to be watching, there are a lot of these resting patterns in the market. Take a look at Roku, continuing to rest, popped on Friday, popped that alert, and then just faded back just a bit, kind of slipping its trend, but watch that carefully if that can find those buyers to start pushing up. You'll notice we have this gap up here that could be filled if those buyers were to find some kind of inspiration. So keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here this morning, paying attention, listening. I do appreciate that. Sorry, I've got to be taken off here real soon to go see that dentist. Ugh. And then um, I'll be back just as quick as I can. Y'all have a great day. Wishing you all the very best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care everyone.